What's up campers? It's Anshul here from Camp K12. And on my lap is a drone. It's been a nice pet for me for the past few days and I've had a great time flying it around this room. This is my laptop and on my laptop is an application called Scratch. Scratch is a visual programming tool, which means it's very accessible for young people like the kids we teach at Camp K12. These kids can use it to write programs like animations, movies, all sorts of fun visual things that run on the computer screen. Now, Scratch is not usually used to make things in the real world move around. But thanks to an extension to Scratch that we have written at Camp K12, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can use Scratch and software you write on your computer to make things move around, like the drone, in the real world. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we make this thing dance for us, Let's talk a bit about how it works and what it's capable of. So as you know, this is a drone, but specifically, it's a quadcopter because it has four rotors. One, two, three, four. Each of these rotors is positioned and shaped in a way that allows us to create various forces on this drone to make it move in different ways. There are three main motions for a quadcopter or a drone like this. There's yaw, which is rotational motion. You can make this rotate. There's pitching. The drone can pitch forward pitch back, the drone can roll. Roll right, roll left, roll right, roll left. And then, of course, you have thrust, which gets generated when these rotors spin together, and it can cause the drone to go up, to take off. And the lack of thrust ca causes it to fall back down. Typically, Scratch lets you do a lot of programming on the computer screen. You can move that cat around as much as you want but we want to move our drone, which is not on the computer screen, it's in the real world. And that's where Camp K12 comes in. We have developed our own extension for Scratch. And I'm gonna show you now how you can load that extension into Scratch and start coding your drone. So first, I need my drone. This is my drone. It's not physically connected to my computer. So how do I communicate to it? So let's go to Scratch and let's shift click on file. That shows me an import experimental HTTP extension. When I click on that, it gives me a chance to choose an extension file. And in this case, I have a file called scratch for AR drone module, which is something I've written and it's a scratch extension. I open it and what that does is in this more blocks section, it creates all these blocks that I want to use to make my drone move. So for example, here you can see a takeoff block, you can see a land block, stop everything, just literally stops any motion happening on the drone and just cause it to hover in place. You can see fly with a speed of some number between zero and 100. Fly, you can fly up, down, left, right. You can fly forward, you can fly backwards, you can rotate, you can flip, you can do some cool things. And then if you want to ask the drone some questions like, hey, what is your battery level? You can do that. And that can be accomplished by these, what are called reporter blocks down here. So for example, get battery percentage, when this is running, can tell you the battery percentage of the drone at any time. So now instead of making my cat move using the command move and repeat 10, I would build a program as follows. I can start, I, I still need the when the green flag is clicked. I'm gonna delete this bottom part and I'm gonna instead drag in a takeoff block. Takeoff is going to cause my drone to start spinning its propellers at an equal rate so that a thrust is created pushing this drone up. That's takeoff. Now if I want to wait after taking off for maybe 5 seconds and then cause it to land, turns out there are blocks for that. Wait is actually a built-in block. I can go to control and I find this wait block and I just drag that here and I can change this 1 second to something like 5 seconds. So I take off, I wait five seconds, and I land. Now again, to, for land, I have to go to more blocks, and I can see here under the section that reads Camp K-12 drone control, there's a land block. So I just, I simply drag that onto the screen. Now you notice this red dot, which says cannot find helper app. This is because 
Our Scratch extension that CampK12 has created requires an app to be running in the background, sending all the commands that you put into Scratch here to the drone. As soon as you run that helper app, it's going to turn green here. So now let me quickly show you how to run that helper app. You go into the console and you basically just have to type one command to run what's called a server. Your helper app is a server that's running and constantly listening for commands from scratch and handling them. And in this case, it handles them by sending those commands as drone move actions to the drone, causing it to move around. So to run this app, I basically type in node server.js and I've got my helper app running. Notice now that this red dot has turned green and it says OK. So our code is here. When the green flag is clicked, take off, wait for five seconds, and then land again. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed for our very first test. Green flag, pressed. There it goes. Take off and land. Well done. Kudos to us. So now that we've done this, there's a lot more blocks that we have available that we can try out. So why don't we do a few more tests? Let's, let's see what happens when we try to make this drone fly up and down, left and right, spin. And if we're feeling adventurous after that, maybe a couple more things. Let's give it a shot. So you just did all of these amazing things with this drone, and I'm sure you're wondering how you can do this at home. That's the best part. Everything you just saw, this extension we talked about and that we used to connect Scratch to your drone, we have open sourced it. So you can go onto your browser and you can go to github.com slash camk12 slash scratch for AR drone, which is the name of our extension that we are publishing and open sourcing. And you will come to this page where you'll see a download zip link. This zip contains the helper app we used and the Scratch extension file that we imported into Scratch. You just click download, unzip it, and you can follow the instructions that are available to you in this readme file on the page. So we've made this extension for you and we've put it out there because frankly, programming Scratch is easy, but programming these guys is not. And at Camp K12, we believe in making technology accessible and drones should be no exception to that. So this is out there. Go have some fun with it. I am going to go play with my drone and uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao.